For me to sign a check to really get interest in a company, it's the team. So it's really the entrepreneur that will get my attention and or like the team of co-founders to start a conversation. If I don't even believe on that team, there's no way that I'll get interest in the technology or the market they're in. It's all about the people that are building since the scratch. So that's the first thing when we do an investment is like really understanding who are the people behind and if they are the right ones to, to execute. Second one uh, is probably like the, what are they solving? So what kind of solution are they bringing to the table? Because we do deep tech and we only invest in things that have a real impact in the world, like positive, positive impact. So we need to see if there's like a, a real market, if it's big enough, if this company is really solving something that matters. Uh, otherwise, that's what we say about innovation of meaning. It really needs to have a meaning. You need to do something that has a purpose that is not just launching a marketplace, launching something that will not uh, change, uh, like really change our day's life, you know? So that's uh, the second thing. Third thing uh, is probably like what they have in terms of patents, uh, how they protect themselves, if they're really solving a, an issue, if they have this capacity, how are they really uh, making sure they're the only one that will do this? Like, no, it's not even about competition, but it's really like how they are more special. And normally when you're talking about science and medicine, it's really like the patents and what do they have. Then the fourth, which is, can be something that we just do not invest because of that. It's how regulated it is and how far we are from bringing this to reality because we're an early stage fund. Uh, we do this uh, investment since the beginning, companies that are far from doing it, but needs to be in less than 10 years. So our fund is 10 years. We expect companies to have something uh, figured out on that timeline. So normally we want something that will be in the market in the next five years. So if it's really regulated, if you need FDA, if you have all these issues, like probably will not invest. Uh, unless it's something that is really like impactful that makes sense for us. Otherwise, uh, we, we try to avoid those regulations. After that, competition. So we always look to the competitors, see what's going on, why they would do better than the others. We like uh, companies that have competition. Sometimes it's direct, sometimes it's indirect, but we want to see that. And we love when entrepreneurs are very aware of who could be and who are like their uh, competitors right now. A lot of them just ignore and say they don't, don't have. That's a red flag for us. If the entrepreneur is saying they don't have any competitors, he's not uh, thinking on the right way, you know, he's, he's just being stubborn. And we care a lot about the investors that are with us. So we understand that it's early stage companies to grow them is not a matter of revenue in the beginning. We really need to grow by consistency of this execution and then go into next rounds. So who is investing with us? It's really important in the sense of if they can follow on, if they can sign bigger checks later on, but also how strategic they are. If they have the right connections with this company, we're talking about science biotech. So it's very uh, specific, the kind of connections you have on this board and what kind of influence and help uh, these investors will provide to, to this portfolio company. And if we get along, right? Like we want to work not only with entrepreneurs, but with investors, like co-investors that we like to work with. So investors also are a very, very important thing for us. Um, let's see if there's anything else that I'm missing. 